Descartes' argument is that existence can, let me write it so I don't waste too much time. Now this um, is important because actually this is the version which Kant is actually rejecting. And what uh, Descartes is saying that existence can no more be separated from the essence of God. So the main terms are existence and essence, remember them. Then the fact that um, it's three angles equal two angles can be separated from the essence of triangle. The essence of triangle. It is a contradiction that, it is contradiction to say that, to think of God, which is the idea of God, that is, uh, a supremely perfect being lacking existence, that is perfection. So here the two terms, important terms are, um, the two important terms are existence and essence. And <clears throat> the concept of idea. So we have idea of God as a supreme, perfect being. Okay, that's the idea. So like, that's one step in this. And the second step is, and this is as important, that first is that if we have a clear and distinct idea, so then that thing exists. That's a separate uh, argument actually. Um, but here the argument is that existence is perfection. That means it's a kind of predicate. Uh, and the example of triangle is important. Uh, the, example, the concept of triangle, um, Descartes says, is that three angles of a triangle equal two right angles. So you can't say that it is a right angle, but deny, um, uh, sorry, you can't say it is a triangle, but deny that its angles equal two triangles. That's a contradiction in terms. So, in a similar way, you can't say that there's the idea of a perfect being, but that perfect being doesn't exist. That's, that's the gist of uh, uh, Descartes' argument here. But Kant's um, strike at this argument is to deny that predicate is, oh, sorry, existence is a predicate. So, if existence is not a predicate, and perfection is a predicate, then there is no contradiction. Because we are not, what we are actually saying is, according to, um, is that if we have a perfect being, in reality, then it is obviously existing. But that's not the argument. The argument is, we have the idea of perfect being. And existence is a perfection. So he must exist. But uh, Kant said uh, existence is not a predicate. On the other hand, existence is the condition of the uh, condition of all the predicates. So when I say something exists, it doesn't just mean that one predicate exists. What I say is that only then any of the predicate can exist. And existence is, the, in a sense, ground of all predicate, but not itself a predicate. It's like saying that I have a concept of, it's, it's, it's not the same thing as I have a concept of $10 in my pocket. That's totally different from having um, $10 uh, in reality in my pocket. So that, that was Kant's argument, um, and that's how he uh, rebutted uh, Descartes' argument. And now let's uh, read um, Iqbal's quotation again and see if um, it gels with what.